Hi everybody, um, I just wanted to do another video on Alex Belfield and um, just taking a look at who Alex Belfield is because I've never come across this guy whatsoever and um, for the first time I came across him today and um, obviously he has a dislike, a strong dislike for Meghan Markle and Prince Harry which is, like I said in my previous video, it is absolutely um, degrading, um, racist, and, you know, unacceptable. And um, I decided to sort of look further into Alex Belfield, and I just wanted to share some things that I found. And it, this, as you can see from the title here, it says, Stop Alex Belfield, and um, that's from April... 2019 and now the thing is this this article says it was written in response to a YouTube video that Alex Belfield posted on the 24th of November in it he posts a photo of Ben Hewis young son who he openly threats or threatened with this I think Alex went too far that video has since been removed from YouTube on December 31st 2019 whilst I was at home my parents enjoyed my new year Alex Belfield sent me this email to my public address okay now the thing is this it says, Mr. Dehaney, remove this post and apologize to me personally or you will be sued for defamation alongside friends, Hewis and Keith. Now, I don't know what's going on, but clearly I'm just showing you something here whereby um, Alex Belfield is just notorious for, um, I would say, threatening people tarnishing people just like he's doing with um Meghan markle and prince harry okay now i'm not going to go into this um article but i will put the link below so you everyone can read it for themselves and draw their own conclusions it's in public domain so it's public information i have never met or do i know him but I'm just saying basically on the point that I don't think it's fair for anyone to judge anyone and to basically abuse and hound anyone online um, without facts. And Alex Belfield is notorious for speaking on um, Meghan Markle and Prince Andrew and Prince Harry, sorry, I keep making that mistake, uh, Prince Harry as a legitimate married couple and a royal couple of the royal family and here's another article that says enough is enough my response to Alec Belfield's attack on Ben Hewis enough is enough okay and it talks about suing for libel and defamation and um, again I'll put the link down below for you to read this article that reflects exactly who Alex Belfield is. Okay, you can see here he's, he's hashtagging a whole bunch of people, um, getting himself involved in a lot of different things, and he seems to have an opinion on every single thing on planet Earth except for his, his own family and his own life and his own pets and his own business and his own problems. Okay. Another article right here says, you know, this is from the Yorkshire Post. And this is actually Alex Belfield himself. And it says, I wasn't up for the job. I wasn't up to the job, says Radio Leeds DJ. So he's obviously from a DJ background. No wonder he has this sort of nightclub kind of raw, coarse, um, uncouthed kind of approach towards people and he says who made inappropriate inappropriate comments to weather presenter okay 
And then this is the BBC radio DJ who angered and embarrassed his bosses and colleagues with lewd on air humour has left the radio station. And that's probably why he was suing the BBC and he was actually fundraising um, online um, to sue the BBC. And I think probably his 100,000 followers need to look at exactly who, who are you supporting? You know, who, who's this guy? And it says, this is his own words. As he said here, I wasn't up to the job. This is his own words. I wasn't up to the job, says Radio Leeds DJ, who made inappropriate comments to weather presenter, which is sexual abuse, allegedly. Okay? It says here, Radio Leeds mid-morning presenter Alex Belfield was reprimanded in December in December and suspended for a day for making totally inappropriate on air remarks not behind the scenes not in a in a in, in a uh, an office or in a cupboard on air remarks to look north weather presenter keely donovan yesterday following talks with bosses he walked out after 10 months in the job, which he hasn't been there long, okay, so, you know, 10 months in the job, and it's inappropriate comments, okay, now, he told followers on his Facebook page that station bosses had wanted a more serious and sensible journalist, and that doesn't play to my strips, <laughs> okay, well, at least he's being honest there, he says here, that doesn't play to my strips. What doesn't play to his strips? A more serious and sensible journalist. Okay? So they wanted a, a more serious and sensible journalist. And he says, out of his own mouth and his own brain, that doesn't play to my strips. He added, in truth, I simply wasn't up to the job. I'm not a journalist, never have been, and frankly don't want to be. Well, I'm going to end the video right there, because I'm going to leave it on those words, and I'm going to put the article um, for everyone to read it for themselves, but this is his own words. I'm not a journalist, and never have been, and frankly don't want to be. Then why are you on YouTube and other main social media platforms acting like a journalist acting like you know everything about Meghan Markle and Prince Harry and the royal family how dare you do that how dare you do that okay the royal family of the UK and you're speaking on their life you're speaking on on what you think they should do and how they should behave and who they should marry who are you to do that Okay, this is the end of the video. Thank you for listening. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell button for more videos because I'm going to be definitely on point when it comes to Meghan Markle and Prince Harry because I am not going to allow anyone to speak derogatory about them or hatred about them or false statements about them get the facts use what's in the media like I'm doing right here when he says out of his own mouth I'm not a journalist never have been and frankly don't want to be then why are you on main social media channels and platforms spewing your your volcano ashes all over people thank you for listening